You're about to enter a world of endless possibilities where you can do absolutely anything you can imagine when you proceed. Fuck no! I'm out! Well, all right, actually, there's no X because I'm F11. Because there's the X. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel, I guess. Uh, today, we're starting a little something new. Something I literally have no idea what it is, but I was recommended this uh, by a friend, so I'm trying this out. And uh, it sounds incredibly interesting, so stick around. Uh, before we get too far into this, I do want to give a, a shout out and thank you to the patrons that have decided so selflessly to support me uh, on YouTube. So thank you so much. The people that are on the left side of the screen now have uh, are my current patrons. So thank you so much. Um, if you guys want to learn any more about my Patreon, go down in the description below of any video and uh, you can choose to support me or not. It's fine. So AI Dungeon, no idea what the fuck this is. I was told very, very little about this other than the fact that while appearing so simplistic is incredibly involved. Uh, enter your email address. I guess I'm gonna do that. Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, fuck. We in here. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay! Uh, pick a setting. I guess I'll do that. Fantasy, mystery, apocalyptic, zombies, custom. Okay, what the fuck is custom? Custom. Cust- cut- cut- Oh, duh. Sorry. <laughs> F do I just input five into this? Five. Enter a prompt that describes how you are. Who you are, and the first couple sentences of where you start out. Example, you are a knight in the kingdom of Larion. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna get really... This is gonna get really involved. You know what? Okay, I do I do want to do custom eventually, but for right now. Can I, can I revert? Can I revert? Can't use this action right now. Oh god. Can I restart? Restart. Restart. Yup. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I, I, I want to see what this game is about first, but I can see. Great! This is fantastic! I really like all of the options I totally have here. What is this? Hello? 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 <laughs> Good! Alright! I think I broke it immediately! Alright, I finally- the game just- it's asking me to pick a setting twice. <laughs> so, let's do goddamn fucking fantasy. Let's do fantasy. We'll do fantasy. Fuck me up with fantasy. Select a character. Am I a noble, a knight, a squire, a wizard, a ranger, a peasant, or a rogue? I'm a fucking rogue, baby. Enter your character's name. Braconian. Braconium. That's my name. Braconium. Generating story, please wait. I, I have literally no idea what we're in for. Um, this is actually just, I, I should explain. Um, the only reason this is airing on the channel right now is because we want an accompanying Let's Play alongside Okami. So we're going to have this for now. Uh, typically the patrons decide what the Let's Play is going to be. Um, but I really desperately wanted to try this. So today this is what we're doing. Okay, here we go! You are Briconium, a rogue living in the kingdom of Larion. You have a long steel dagger and a length of rope. You walk down the city street looking for somewhere spelt wrong to steal from. Looking for somewhere to steal from. Alright, you look around and see nothing that you can take. The only problem is, there isn't anything worth stealing here. A few days pass and you come across a group of soldiers talking about something on their way back from another mission. What will you do? What do you mean? What are my options? <laughs> can I do literally anything? Can I fuck the soldiers? <laughs> Bryconian Mim is a little bit of a horn dog. Fuck the the soldiers it's not gonna let me fuck the soldiers fuck the soldiers let me fuck them fuck the soldiers let me fuck the soldiers yep. <laughs> that's it thanks for watching guys <laughs> cue the the pervy jazz music what do you mean what will i do is it trying to figure out what the fuck is going on down here i want to fuck the soldiers let me fuck them. Bryconium has hit a little bit of a dry patch and just needs to let off some steam before the adventure in the kingdom of Larion. I I think the game, I honestly, press enter. Wait, want more story to generate? Press enter without typing in an action. I'm not sure. Honestly, guys, <laughs> I think I'm doing this right. I wanna fuck the soldiers. 
We can only assume I'm actively fucking the soldiers. I think that's why it's taking so long. Hmm. Okay. What? Wait! I hit new game and it just reloaded it! Fuck the soldiers! No, I don't think so, you say. I'm gonna do it my way. What's your way, one of the soldiers asked. It's not like I've got any friends or family who would care if I killed them. Wait, what's going on? No, I don't- What do you mean? What? Oh! Sorry, I skipped this. For some reason, it came up, fuck the soldiers twice. Hey, I know what you're doing, one of them says. We need to get rid of these bandits before they start attacking us. Yeah, but how? Well, we could just kill all of them, but then we'd be killing innocent people too. Fuck the soldiers. <laughs> Look how adamant I am about this. <laughs> Through the glitching of it all. Fuck the soldiers! No, I don't think so, you say. I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> Wait, did it take it as like, fuck them, mm -mm, doing it my way? Maybe. It's not like I've got any- what's, what's your way, one of the soldiers asked. It's not like I've got any friends or family who would care if I killed them. No ending of quotation mark. Uh, can I- it says I could use, uh, quotation marks to talk. Hello? <laughs> Send it. I don't know what- the thing that's so interesting about this series is like, I- I- usually with a blind let's play, I have a vague idea of what the game is. I literally have no idea what the fuck this game is. And I don't know if it's my internet specifically or not, but it takes forever to load. But the good news is, is I could cut. Whoops, something went wrong. <laughs> what is this game? Let me start over from the ground up. Let me start over. Would you like to start a new game? God, yes. Cru okay. All right. I, just, I don't even. Yo, guess the fuck what? We're going for a mystery this time, guys. Select a character. Dete I'm, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the detective. I'm the detective. Enter your character's name. Well, thanks for asking. He's... Chronic. <laughs> what? Generating story. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. I'm pretty good at that lately. Oh, you are chronic. A detective living in Chicago. You have a pistol and a police badge. You enter the forest where you believe the criminal you're searching for fled to. Suddenly, you hear a noise behind you. What will you do? Look behind me. It's kind of weird because my keyboard is like tucked under my mic, so I have to like... You turn around to see a large creature standing on two legs with four arms coming out of its back. It has a long tail that is red like blood and its eyes are black as night. The creature stands there looking at you, but does not move. I, I don't want to break the game! I, wa I wanted to- I wanted to be more descriptive- Alright. Let's <laughs> get to fuck the creature. <laughs> Have sex with the creature. <laughs> Sorry, this is dumb. Just fucking run, I guess. Run! Run away! That's- I mean, realistically? What the fuck would I do in real life? Run. I'ma run the fuck away. Get out of here. May put on your soap shoes and grind some fucking rails to get that goddamn away. I'ma run. You quickly turn your body and start running away from the creature. You don't know what you're going to do with the, when this thing sees you, so you just try to get as far as away as, po as, as possible. What will you do? What do you mean? Fucking, what do I do? Keep running? Keep running. Sorry, I, I'm typing so slow. Like, I was trying to- I was trying to fucking say before, my- my mic is like awkwardly- awkwardly in front of where I would usually- I'm one of those people that still needs to look at a keyboard. Like, I don't- I probably- like, if I didn't look at the keyboard, I don't know. You continue running through the forest until you you reach a small stream. There is no one here except some drunk swimming about in the water. You swim over to the, why do I sw what? <laughs> why do I swim over to them? What ducks? Ducks? Sorry, did I say drunks? <laughs> Courtney pointed at the screen like a uh, reread that. There's some ducks <laughs> swimming about in the water. You swim over to them and ask if they can help you. They say no. What? The ducks speak. <laughs> In all caps, you talk. <laughs> Sorry, this. I. I need to know. Like, what the fuck? They speak to me. You continue to talk to the ducks. Eventually, you manage to convince them that you need their help, and they agree. How the fuck are they gonna help? They tell you that they will go fetch a rope from the nearby tree, and then they'll bring you down into the river. They'll bring you down into the river.
Long sentences for actions are no problem. Get creative. Oh my god, this could be insane. Thank. Thank. Them. I don't know. I'm Canadian. Fuck off. <laughs> I gotta be kind. Sorry. You thank them and they return your thanks. Then you both head off toward the trees. You walk along the bank of the river and begin to think about how strange it all is that happened today. Yup. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Hmm. What a strange time it was. I just like- Oh, you continue walking along the uh, the banks of the river. Soon you come across a bridge. You wonder why someone would build such a structure in the middle of nowhere. But then again, maybe it was built by an explorer or something. Suddenly, you feel yourself being pulled under the water. How? I was walking by the river. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'ma piss my pants right now. You panic and start to sink. You struggle against the current, but it isn't enough to save you. You drown. What the fuck? What was the story? Let us recap! Uh, there's a fucking criminal. You go to the woods. You see a fucking creature with arms coming in the back. Run the fuck away. I kept running. I find some ducks that were originally drunks. I, I swear to God they were at some point. I, I swam over to them, and I just yelled to them. Also, why even engage them? Why do they talk? In f you talk? Yeah, good, good, good. What will you do? You died, game over. Wrong. Revive <laughs> myself. <gasps> Bitch, you thought. Bitch, you thought. What up? Here I come. What? <laughs> You wake up in a cold sweat. You look around and you realize you're still underwater. You gasp for air and then you know. <laughs> it's like the concept of my. How do I revive myself? Whatever. You gasp for air and then you notice that you aren't wearing any clothes anymore. Then you remember the ducklings. They were right. They saved your life after all. Why do I have no clothes on? Are they ducklings? Or, a better question, are they fucklings? You know what I'm saying? What the ducks do with my clothes? What they do with my clothes? Where the fucking hell are my clothes? Just, I gotta be honest. Oh, I should have said it. I, I uh, Courtney's, Courtney's like gesturing for me to put it in quotation marks. Whatever. I, I really should have done that. I didn't want to say it. It was like an internal monologue. I want to. I'm asking the game. Where the fuck are they? Grab a handful of clothing from your bag and pull it off. You find yourself naked. Grab a handful of clothing from your bag and pull it off. Find yourself naked. What? <laughs> your heart races and you start to cry out in pain. You wince as you slowly stand up and put on the clothes you found earlier. You found them in your bag. You didn't know you had it. Thank fuck I had these clothes in my bag. I didn't know I had. I forgot to add the end quote. Fuck. You say thank. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Out to the river. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you say thanks and then leave the riverbank. You take a quick glance behind you before continuing on your way. <laughs> thanks again, river. Fuck, I forgot the ex- oh, I forgot the closing qu quotation. God damn it. My guy like half speaks. You say thanks and then turn- <laughs> I'm doing a Canadian run. <laughs> you turn back around. You walk along the road, the only one that you have ever known, with a smile on your face. <laughs> a few hours later, you arrive at home. You open the door and see that your mother has returned from work early this morning. <laughs> I want to engage in conversation with my mother. She's had a long fucking day. She works at a hospital. If I could work that into this, I'll do it. My mom doesn't even work at a hospital in real life, but whatever. Hey, mom, how was your shift at the hospital? <laughs> you say, hello, mama. She looks surprised and asks you what's wrong. Nothing, I just wanted to engage with conversation. You look, you explained that you just wanted to thank the ducks. <laughs> is she, is she, I, at this point, 
I would hope that my mom puts me in the back of a car and takes me to the hospital. <laughs> Hello, mama. Okay. Thank Lord. Thank the good Lord above for those ducks. Am I right? Like, the game's not gonna understand am I right, but like, whatever. <laughs> Whatever, we'll see. This this game is fucking incredible. You say thank the good lord above for those ducks, amigos. <laughs> <laughs> Do I? She smiles and says she'll be sure to tell everyone when they get back. <laughs> she kisses you goodbye and leaves you alone. That's my favorite part about this. Leaves you alone. She probably kissed me looked at me awkwardly and slowly backed the fuck out of the room. She kisses you goodbye and leaves you alone. I'm insane. Also, this is a mystery. I revived myself in a river and I was clothless. Thank God I had a backpack though. Kiss her back with tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, mom, come back! <laughs> oh god, I'm about to vomit. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> the game, the game is like, fuck, cut this guy off. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I revert? <laughs> Does that mean like, go back a step? Okay. You say hello, mama. She looks at you surprised. Okay. So we reverted back to this point. Sure. You tell her that you're happy that the ducks fucking saved you. <laughs> Let's see what the game does with Din Din. It's duck, she says. You say what's for Din Din? She laughs and says, oh yes, I've heard those words many times before. <laughs> you nod in agreement and hug her goodbye. She kisses you goodbye and leaves the room. You close the door behind her. Let's see what the game does with that shit! You say, yeah, yeah, shut up! I'm not listening to you! You go to the kitchen and get the next words. Your mom comes down the stairs shortly after. <laughs> I like how the game interprets it. It like extrapolates it. It's like, all right, uh, contextually, what is, oh, he's mad. Okay, uh, just, just say you said shut up to the door, I guess. Go into the room and begin eating some breakfast. Your mom comes down the stairs shortly afterwards. Fuck, I accidentally hit the enter key before adding the- whatever, it's fine. The game is like, figured out, you say nothing, I was just- <laughs> I'm talking to myself! <laughs> you, what are you up to today? You say nothing, I was just cooking up some food. <laughs> I say it to myself. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, not that I was just cooking up my f some food, me. How about you? You sit down at the table and eat your breakfast. Suddenly you hear a loud noise outside. It sounds like an explosion or something similar. You look out the window and see a bright light in the sky. Well, too bright for my liking. Just close them. Close those curtains. Just draw them closed. Sorry. I don't even give a fuck about whatever is going on outside. I'm eating my goddamn breakfast. You close the curtains and wait for the sun to rise. The sun rises quickly and soon you can see the city lights through them. You don't really feel like getting up though, so you stay in bed where you were definitely eating your food two seconds ago. About After about half an hour, you hear a knock on your bedroom door. What? <laughs> go away, I'm Jack in here! <laughs> you say, go away, I'm Jack in here! The knock gets louder and you, and you open the door. A man stands there dressed in black leather armor with a large sword strapped to his back. You here to help? Like with the jacking? <laughs> you here to help? <laughs> you say you're here to help, he nods. <laughs> I am, but I need your help. Oh, fuck, this just got fucking nuts. Literally, he goes on to explain that he is looking for someone named Chronic who disappeared while on assignment in the city of Neuro. He wants you to find him if possible. 
The game has given me so many avenues to make this interesting. It's like, there's an explosion outside. Close the curtains. Continue to eat. <laughs> Sorry, kid. The man frowns, then walks off, leaving you alone. You sigh as you head back to sleep. I'm going to determine to make this the most boring story. <laughs> you sigh as you head back to sleep. Uh, Like, how... How... How can we do this? Can we, like... What do you do with that one, game? What do you do with that one? Like, I accidentally just tripped up the stairs on my way back to bed. Oh, this is the most exciting thing that's happened to Chronic. You wake up from your nap and realize you tripped over the stairs. You immediately grab your pistol and fire a shot at the floor without- Which doesn't hit anything. Not even the floor? What's the point? I fell up the stairs, I wake up and shoot the fucking ground. <laughs> Hey! Oh, I said yee-haw! Yee-waw! <laughs> yee-waw! Take that, varmint! You say yee-waw! You take that, varmint! Your gun goes off and you fall backwards onto the floor. You groan in pain and try to stand up, only to stumble again. This time you manage to get up and run downstairs where your mother is currently still asleep. Shoot her. That'll get her up. <laughs> Wake up! You say, shit, my leg hurts. Oh, come on. It's fine. Just rest a moment, she says. Kill her. Kill her. Kill, kill her. Kill the mother. You say you shoot her dead. She wasn't worth it anyway. <laughs> what? You go back to your room and collapse on your bed. Your mother comes into the room. I thought she was dead. She comes back into the room shortly after and looks concerned. No shit. I just shot her. I thought you were dead. I shot you. I shot you. I thought I shot you. You said, I thought you were dead. I sure did. <laughs> uh, hello? Yellow? What happened? I, I don't, I don't know. With the fucking goddamn semicolon. That's how much I don't know. You see, I don't know, I just woke up. She sits down beside you and asks what happened. You tell her about how you bumped into the stranger outside the tavern and then went home when? She seems genuinely surprised by this information, but doesn't seem too upset with you either way. Like, I guess, I don't... Oh, I didn't even say that. I'm just telling the game, thank you. You thank her for understanding and leave the house. You walk along- The game is like, get the fuck out of your house! It doesn't even give a fuck! Alright, <clears throat> You thank her for your understanding and leave the house. You walk down the street and see a group of people arguing. They're yelling at each other so loud you think they might be having an actual fight. But they aren't. It's just one guy who has been drinking himself to death. Go back home. <laughs> I've seen enough! I'm going home! God damn it! You decide to stay home. You never really liked being around drunk people anyway. <laughs> the next day you go back to work as usual. The night passes without incident, though there was one time when a man came walking toward towards your front door and knocked on the door twice before leaving again. Cool? Like... <laughs> Good for him? Like, fucking leave. What's he gonna do? Come to my house and tell- It's the perch! You cool? You say cool. You look out the window and see nothing interesting going on outside. You spend some more time looking out the window and then head back inside. You finish up your shift early and go home? What? <laughs> Got it. Yes, I work from home. But then I- I have two homes. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. It's kind of weird because the game wants me to put a lot of stuff in, in like quotation marks, but like it understands. Yeah, see? Ah, you, you say, ah, glad to be home. You wake up early the next morning and start packing your things. You take your gun from its place on the desk and put it away somewhere safe. <laughs> I just like the concept of me trying to combat the game the entire time. Like, no, no, this is staying boring. <laughs> this guy is the bo most boring life. Leave the house. It's fine. Leave. Fine game, you win! You say, leave the house. <laughs> you look out the window, see nothing interesting going on outside. You spend some more time looking out the window and then head back inside. I, I spend time looking out the window and then go back inside. My guy is actually insane. You finish up your shift early and go home. Fuck, 
Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> you say fuck. <laughs> you turn off the TV and set it aside. What? Wait, I turn off the TV and then set it aside. I just put it the fuck up beside me. You sit down at your computer chair and get ready to play some games. Suddenly you hear a noise outside. Like someone is throwing something against your wall or pounding on a door. Look outside. I'm gonna- I'm gonna appease the game. Fine, I'll fucking bite. What's outside? You open the window to peek outside. There is no one there, but you do notice that the sky is very dark now. You close the window and get ready to sleep. Then suddenly you hear a noise outside again! I thought for a second the game was like, oh, I see what we're doing. Okay, just want a boring life. You look outside, there's no noise. You go to bed. You wake up the next morning, look outside again, still nothing. God damn rats! <laughs> <laughs> you run outside and yell, God damn rats! You quickly hide behind a nearby building, but the sound of their voices still wakes you up. <laughs> what? You quickly hide behind a nearby building. Insert right here. Quickly fall asleep, but the sound of their voices still wakes you up. You rush out of hiding and shout, They're coming from the alleyway over there! A few seconds later, you hear them approaching. Who? Whom? Whom? Whomst, may I ask? Whomst is approaching. This is fucking wild. I don't... You run into the alleyway and hide behind a dumpster. You wait until they come near behind... Before opening fire with your shotgun! A couple of them fall to the ground dead, while others manage to crawl under the dumpsters to escape. Lick the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> you stand up and walk over to the bodies. You grab a handful of flesh. And <laughs> you grab a handful of flesh and suck on it for a while. <laughs> Savor the taste. <laughs> I'm psychotic. You continue eating as you watch their. <laughs> You continue eating as you watch the rest of the gang sneak past you. Eventually, they reach the end of the alley and disappear around the corner. You sigh happily and think about how much fun this was. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm out for blood now. <laughs> for blood. Go after the rest of the gang. You decide to follow the group, hoping that many, uh, that maybe one of them has a lead on where they might be headed. They must have been heading towards the same direction. You hope that whoever it is can help you find Chronic. I'm Chronic! Does he not remember? I'm Chronic! It's all the corpse licking! I swear to God, he's losing his brain cells. What if I just- <laughs> Eat people. <laughs> Oh, no, hold on. Oh, he's getting hungry again. <laughs> you just gotta eat. You hurry along the street, trying not to make any sudden movements. The street is empty, so you don't expect anyone to approach you. You keep running until you feel like you're being washed by someone. Then suddenly, a hand grabs your shoulder and yanks you forward. <laughs> Kiss them. <laughs> Kiss them. Whatever. <laughs> they look at you and say, mm, Is that corpse on your lips? <laughs> your face slams into the pavement and you go flying through the air. You hit hard enough to hurt, but fortunately not too badly. Your vision blurs briefly and then you regain consciousness. We doggy. We doggy. <laughs> you groan in pain and si try to sit up, but you soon realize that you can't move at all. You're trapped. Someone is holding you down. And it's not just because you fell asleep during the night. What? <laughs> Wait, what? I can't believe you fell asleep during the night you fucking disgust me! Push them off? I guess? I don't know. Push them off of me. What are they doing on me? Get the fuck off me, you asshole. You struggle against the person holding you down, but it doesn't work. It seems like you were already dead when they found you. The person realizes you- re releases you and walks away from the scene. You look around for some something to defend yourself with, but there isn't anything handy. Just like go home. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have to defend myself with shit. I'm leaving. I'm going home. I don't completely understand the altercation that just happened. You quickly get dressed. <laughs> wait, wait, when did I undress? <laughs> what? You quickly get dressed and head back home. When you arrive, you see that the entire neighborhood is now watching you suspiciously. Everyone knows what happened last night, and everyone wants to know why you didn't help Chronic out of fear. What the fuck is going on? Like, ignore him. I don't know. 
Like, I literally don't know what the fuck is going on right now. Just go inside. I don't need this. Take a deep breath and head inside. You tell your mother everything that happened last night, and she tells you that it wasn't her fault. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, I know you're having a lot of problems, but hold the fuck on, it's not my fault! She says that if she had known what was going to happen, she would have helped Chronic instead. Pardon? Pardon the fuck out of me, mother? What are you talking- what is going on in this world? Anybody remember the forearm demon I seen in the woods? You explain to your mom that she shouldn't have helped- shouldn't have- should have helped Chronic instead, but she still won't believe you. You tell her that you'll prove to her that it was really her fault later. But first, you need to figure out who did this. Oh my god, you're damn right I do. What the fuck is going on in this game? We are ending this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this, please give it a like. If you guys want to subscribe for the remainder of Let's Play, please do so. If you guys see the moment you'd like to take for a best of compilation that comes at the end of this month, go down in the description below to see how to do just that, and also consider supporting me on Patreon. I literally have no fucking idea what's going on in this game, but I goddamn love it. Part of me wants to start the game completely over from scratch in a different setting and really appease the game to see where it goes, instead of just like, I'ma eat the corpse. But the thing is, the game allowed me to fucking eat the corpse! I just love pushing this game. I want to see what it's going to allow me to do. <laughs> anyway, come back next time for more of fucking this.